Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Shalom. Most high and Christ bless you. Watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon. And to my left, also Abner. Uh, today's title is You Are Not Safe With Your Money. Because a lot of people trust in riches, right? But you're not safe. Money cannot save you. All right, so let's get in the scriptures. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. The book of 1 Timothy, <clears throat> chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. So the scriptures say, charge them that be rich in this world. Yeah, you can be rich. There's nothing wrong with having money. Money is a defense. The Bible says it. But it says... Uh, that they be not high-minded because a lot of time people are rich and they look down upon the poor They don't do what's right with their money So the scripture said charge them that are rich in the world that they be not high-minded and do not trust in uncertain riches Because money as much as a defense it is you have it guess what it can grow wings and fly away How many people do we know that was rich and turn? I mean end up broke Why because they were high-minded that they spent lavishly and just wild out they end up losing everything. So don't be a high-minded person if you have money. Right? Because it's God that gives it to you, so do something good with it. Right? Give me Esther. Chapter 4. Uh, where are we? Esther chapter 4, right? Uh, we're going to start at verse 13. The book of Esther chapter 4, verse 13. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than, more than all the Jews. So Esther thought that because she was a queen, right, she, she was being high-minded. She thought like, oh, I don't have to do what Mordecai says. I'm going to be saved. No, Mordecai had to remind her, don't think because you're in the king's house you're going to be safe. Read. For if thou altogether holdeth thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And, whoso, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such as times as this? So it says, if you hold your peace, if you refuse to go to the king and speak on the behalf of the Jews, guess what? You and your house are going to be destroyed. Right? And deliverance is going to come from somewhere else. And it says, and who know it whether or not you came into this kingdom for such a time like this. So maybe most of allow you to be rich too. Why? So that way you can help this truth. You can donate. You can join the booster club. Help us to travel. But if you want to hold, hold, uh, hoard all your money and don't want to help this truth, guess what? You're going to die with your money. However, we are still going to get delivered. The truth still going to move on. You understand? The financial help we need is going to come from somewhere else. You can keep your money if you don't, don't want to help, but guess what? You're going to die with it. Okay? Give me uh, some. So that's why Mordecai, well, the same thing Mordecai was telling Esther is the same thing we're telling you guys today. Don't be high-minded. Use your money to do good. Help this truth. Help, help push this truth. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 6. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, mm -hmm. none of them uh, can by any means redeem his brother, nor, nor give to God a ransom from him, for him. You hear that? Every man who trusts in their wealth and boasts himself in their riches, like you see dude on TV, make, I'm going to make it rain, like walling out, you know what I'm saying? Buying, you got dudes that got a different car, a different Lamborghini for each day of the week, different Rolexes for each day of the week. You're just boasting. But guess what? At the end of the day, right? When Christ returns, can none of you pay a ransom for the salvation of a soul? You follow? Salvation is free as long as you follow what the Bible says. Your money cannot save you. 
Because a lot of people trust the fact that they are rich in this world, thinking like, oh, I don't need, I don't need uh, this Bible. That's for poor people. Well, guess what? It's okay. We're going to hold on to this book. But you, with your bread, you better start doing good with it. Give me some, um, some 62 verse 9. You better do something good with it because the scriptures that charge them that are rich so they not uh, they not be high minded. The book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 9. Surely men of low degree. No, verse 10. Verse 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 62, verse 10. Trust not in oppression. Trust not in what? Trust not in oppression. Trust not in oppression, read. And become not vain in robbery. Uh huh. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. The scripture lets you know it's nothing for the most high all of a sudden to make a poor man rich. But so, but if riches increase, don't set your heart on them. Don't think that because you got riches, you're going to be all right. Give me Luke 12. We're going to start at verse 16. Well, let's see a man that trusted in his riches, according to scripture, what happened to him. Right? The book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 16. <clears throat> And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Mm -hmm. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits in my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat. Drink and be merry. You see what? This man had so much. He's like, what do I do? I'm going to build bigger barns. I'm going to load them up with food. And I'm going to fall back and ease up and just enjoy my life. That's not why Mosai give you guys riches for. Mosai give you so he can have to give to those who does not have. You're supposed to help the body. You're supposed to help push this truth. But you want to have your money and enjoy and relax. But let's keep on reading. Let's see what happened. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. What did Mosai say? Thy soul shall be required of thee. So that night his soul was required of him. So picture this now. He went, he went away. He, he died. And meanwhile, he could have done great, great, great things with that, with that money. But he thought he was going to amass a lot of it. And just chill and just lay back. That's not what the most I wanted for him. Let's go to uh, Sirach. It's chapter 10, verse 9. Sirach, chapter 10, verse 9. The book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Why is earth and ashes proud? Why is earth and ashes so proud? Read. There is not a mouse, uh, there, there, there is not a more wicked thing mm -hmm. than a covetous man. A covetous man, there's nothing more wicked than that man. Because he'll kill, he'll do anything to get what he wants because he's covetous. Read. For such an one setteth his own soul to sell. He, he do what? Setteth his own soul to sell. He set his own soul to sell. How many people that you know that want to be movie stars? What do they do? Set the, set the, uh, sell their own soul. A lot of them grab their ankles. You understand? Meet up with the producers in the hotel room and do all kind of crazy stuff. Why? Because they want to be rich so much. They'll do anything to get that bread. Read. Because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. You hear that? While he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. Give me uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. So, to get riches, a lot of people end up doing abominable things with, uh, um, to get those riches. And this is why now, they don't want to do nothing good with it either. Because in their head, like, damn, I did all this evil to get my money. I'm just going to just give it to people for free. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you have to do so much evil, but guess what? Repent. Stop doing the evil, right? And the money that you have, help push this truth. That's your only way out. Read. The book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Humble your, yourself under who? The mighty hand of God. Under the mighty hand of God. Read. That he may exalt you in due time. So if you humble yourself under the hands of the Lord, he's going to exalt you in due time. Was that it on that? Yes, um, verse 6. So uh, give me uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, 
neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If we read that again from the top. The book of First John chapter 2, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What's in the world? Drugs, sex, and rock and roll. Money, just while out. That's what's in the world. The scriptures tell, tell you, don't love these things. Because if the love of these things are in you, then guess what? The love of the Father is not in you. Read. If any man love the world, mm -hmm. the love of the Father is not in him. Keep reading. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and mm -hmm. the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So if you have what? Read that part again. For all the for all that is in the world, uh -huh. the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, and the pride of life is not of the father. It's not of the father. But all people want to do is make money, buy expensive clothes, buy expensive cars, go to the club, pop bottles, go to the strip joint, make it rain. Meanwhile, we're doing the work, putting put uh, pushing the shoe. When you're sitting around and having fun, if you if you're choosing to just be having fun in the world, then the love of the Father is not in you. You gotta pick and choose. That's why when the young men came to to uh, Christ and say, "Yo, I did this, I done that, I kept all these laws. What else do I lack?" What did Christ say? Take your money and give it to the poor. He turned around sorrowful. Because that's why the scripture says, "It's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven." Why? Because what you're going to do with $2 billion? How much can you spend? You, you, you get what I'm saying? You got one bill. Let's say you got a, a $500 million. So you couldn't give the truth 100 mil? You're still rich, but it's to show you how much money has a, a, has a stronghold on people that have it. They'd rather die with that money than do good with it. Read. <clears throat> But is of the world, verse seventeen, mm -hmm. and the world passeth away, and the get yeah, read on, and the lust thereof. So but, the world will pass away, and the lust thereof, because everything you see is going to be burnt. Read, but he that doeth the will of God mm -hmm. abideth forever. So that's everlasting life. If we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, guess what? We're gonna abide forever. So you having money, that don't mean nothing, unless you're doing good with it. Give me Second Peter uh, three, verse ten. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, mm -hmm. in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are, th uh, are therein shall be burnt up. So everything in this planet is going to be burnt up. Why? Because this kingdom got to fall for, Israelite, for the Israelite kingdom to rise. So the element is going to be melt with fervent heat. What melts element with fervent heat? Nuclear weapons. So everything, all your cars, all your jewelries, they ain't going to be around. Read. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So when you look around and you read the scriptures and you see that this world is coming to an end, what kind of person you think you should be? You should be in all holy conversation. That means let go of the club. Let go of all the evil that's out there. Because the love of the world, if you have it in you, you don't have the love of the Father in you. Read. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So, this kingdom got to fall so that way God's kingdom can be established. So, those of us who's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, we're going to get that kingdom. But if you're not, you ain't gonna, you're going to be burnt with the, with the elements of this and the works of this world. Read. Right? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. You see that? We have to do our very best to ensure that most of find us in peace and blameless. We can't be in a club. We can't be in a strip joint. We can't be making it rain. We cannot not take care of our people and just enjoy ourselves. 
then that wouldn't be we wouldn't be blameless at that time so those of us who refuse to come back to this truth who's chasing chasing money 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 you're gonna die with your money because money cannot redeem your soul with that i'm gonna say shalom We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.